Hi everyone, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I'm going to do your daily messages for Thursday, September 27th, 2018. This will be a general reading for all of you. If it resonates, that's awesome. You know, others of you, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Definitely check out the ones that I post over on Instagram per element. For the collective spirit, all of my subscribers, September 27th, 2018. That feels perfect. And the link for Instagram will be right at the bottom, right the, below the video in the description box. Okay, uh, three of swords. Your foundation is the three of wands reversed. Recent past knight of swords. Crowning you is the fool. And the magician reversed. Interesting. Um, the two of pentacles is at the bottom. You know, this isn't a, this isn't an emotional card necessarily. You know, but look at the water in the background. You know, it's very turbulent, rough waves there. You know, I feel like for some of you, it's definitely a juggling of emotions. Like, you know, emotional issues, situations, whether this is work, money, partnerships, whatever. It's emotional. You know, and you do have, you do have the ships behind you. You know, at some point, you will receive help. I feel like you do just need to get balanced. You know, emotionally you're bored, feeling emotionally flat. Feeling like you 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 need better. I do feel like some of you do need to get balanced. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. That could be going through the juggling act right now, you know, or the, or the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting something else, but you're just doing the same thing, you know, you or them, basically, you know, and, and there's a need to take a leap of faith. You know, you're, you're definitely right at the end. You're there. You're you're absolutely about to. You know, definitely for some of you, pay attention what you're doing. Because the Knight of Swords, some of you could be rushing in to do something. And that's why I say pay attention to what you're doing. It could be Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Gemini Aquarius, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some harsh communication coming through. And there is really a need to forgive someone. You could be asking for forgiveness from an air sign. Vice versa them, you. Someone didn't need to act the way that they acted. Like, we'll say it's you. But whoever, you know... You did it. You did it for whatever reason. Like I just get that you didn't need to act the way that you acted. You did it for whatever reason. Or you're going to take a chance. You're, you're going to take a chance to talk to someone that you haven't communicated with in a long time. You know, it's a situation where you're definitely trying to plan for your future. 
you know. But you feel like you have to go back to the past and take care of this three of swords first. It just depends, I guess. You know, it's definitely separation from an air sign. You know, I do feel like something does bother you. And this is, you know, ready to do something that's, you know, bold and hasty. You're ready to charge forward into the future. You're thinking, planning, coming up with lots of ideas. But you have to move quickly if you want something to happen. There's a big decision here. And I feel like it does have to do with forgiveness. I know it's not reversed, but... If, if someone, if they're coming back to see you, they're an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and then you need to take... move quickly or someone does take action but I feel like they're asking you for patience and love for a small number of you others of you you need to move fast because someone could be just like it Coming to you with something saying, you know, hurry up, we, you know, come on, we, we have to go. You know, let, let's go somewhere, let's do something. Let's, the magician, you know, forgiveness, you know, for manipulation. You know, it could be that someone needs money to move forward. It could be that they don't have any money. They're, you know, this is the juggling act. But in order to move, you know, forward into the future, that's what you need. You need money. You need the tools, the resources. Anything like that. And I really do need to clarify. I am very intrigued by the Nine of Swords. So I will say. This could be your energy wanting to charge forward full steam ahead. Or it could be. You dealing with an air sign. You know that's, that's rushing around. Maybe they kind of, they, either you or, or they kind of feel like they need to avoid you because their back is turned. You know, it's like they're running away. They're running in the opposite direction. Really, you know, trying to face the future. A leap of faith is definitely involved in taking some kind of risk. You know, we're coming to talk talk to you or you them. And I really do feel like someone is, is coming in to apologize. Let's clarify it. Right, starting with the Knight of Swords. Seven of Cups, maybe trying, you know, that's a card of confusion, illusions. Let me get another card there. All right, what do we got here? 
Okay, the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords reversed. Um, I, you know, someone's coming in to clear out the confusion for you, for an, ask you for forgiveness or vice versa. You know, it looks like you're attached to the future, not the past, which is very interesting. You know, with the Nine of Swords reversed, so if you were nervous, you're not nervous anymore, or an air sign isn't. Maybe you were trying to, you know, really figure out exactly what you wanted to do. Do I, don't I? You know, there, you know, you were confused, but that's in the past. Let's look at the Magician. I really do not like the Magician reversed. But I, I don't know. I don't really feel that as a manipulator right now. I feel like someone thinks that, but it's not really true. Or there was manipulation. If there was manipulation, it was for someone's best interest. And there may, you know, this person may or may not even know this. Oh, hold on, it fell on the floor. The Wheel of Fortune. You know, some of you are definitely big change. You know, and even with the Five of Cups, I, I do feel like there's an apology here. And I'm sorry, please forgive me. I've changed. I'm different. Let me get another card there. Okay, definitely this one. And there are fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius with air in their chart. I just keep getting, you know, forgive me. This doesn't necessarily have to be on the love front. This could be family, friends. Some of you are dealing with someone that was an asshole, was very manipulative. Someone that wants you to take them back. I don't know. Take caution with that. Let me see this, the Three of Swords. The Nine of Cups, the Queen of Swords, there's your fire sign, okay, you know, the Six of Pentacles is that give and take, Balance, peace offering, giving out money. Aries Leo Sag. This person, you know, is being sincere. You know, I think that something happened. You know, things probably weren't balanced. But now they are. Someone, someone could be paying back what they owe. 
like their child support or alimony, giving a gift of money to someone. And they could be an Aries Leo Sag. They could have air, Libra Gemini Aquarius, or they could just be an air sign. That was remorse and regret. You know, and I feel like too that this is a big risk for you guys. You know, like, why should I believe you? What was that? Wow, the Ace of Cups. You know, you have a beautiful new beginning here. There's sincerity with an apology. They're sorry, you know, that something happened. But I feel like, you know, you're going to put a stop to all of that. You're going to put an end to something. And you're going to be very happy about it. It's awesome. You're going to take a leap of faith, literally, and start something new. And you're absolutely going to do it. Because you just know that that this is better. And I really do feel, too, it is the right choice. Like, you're not going to mess this up, whatever it is. Work, family, love, someone from the past coming back. Like, I just, I think you're done with the bullshit. And this is a really good reading. Like, this is what you're moving toward. A job you love, a new home even, uh, just a new beginning that's going to fulfill you on a beautiful emotional level. Good reading. Really, really beautiful. All you need to do is just, you know, stay balanced, keep your emotions under control. And listen to your intuition. Okay, guys, beautiful. If it resonates, awesome. You know, take what does, leave what doesn't. And again, please feel free to watch the ones over on Instagram. They will be up in the morning. Love you guys. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you back here soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.